Guten Abend, meine Damen und Herren. Good evening, dear ladies and gentlemen on Cloud.tv. Today with an explosive topic. For European politicians, the culprit for the plane crash of the Malaysian Boeing in the eastern Ukraine with 300 dead seems to be clear already, before experts were even able to investigate this incident. The accusation against the separatists in Russia yet is not based on hard facts, but on diffuse assumptions and speculations. Meanwhile, one already calls for painful economic sanctions against Russia. Russia itself urged the West to contribute towards a sober finding of truth of what caused the crash of MH17 and answer the following 10 questions. First, why did flight MH17 leave the International Air Corridor right before the catastrophe? Second, was leaving the flight route a navigation error or did the crew follow the instructions of the Ukrainian air traffic control in Dnepropetrovsk? The discrepancy towards the left border of the international corridor was up to 14 kilometers, that is, around 8.7 miles, right before the shooting down. Third, why did the Ukrainian army station a great number of air defense systems in the area of eastern Ukraine under their control, even though the separatists do not have any airplanes? What then is the use of such systems? Fourth. Why did the Ukrainian army station BOK missile systems at the borders of the territory controlled by them right before the tragedy? As an explanation, a BOK missile system consists of radar and command vehicles as well as missile launchers with four missiles each. Russian aerial photographs prove suspicious movement of such weapon systems immediately before the catastrophe. Fifth. On the day of the crash, Kiev intensified the activity of so-called Kupol M19S18 surveillance radar. These are key components of the BOK missile launchers. Why? Sixth, what was the purpose of a Ukrainian fighter aircraft on a route reserved for civilian flights? Seven. Why did the fighter jet approach the passenger airplane up to three to five kilometers, that is about three miles, right before the catastrophe? The Ukrainian Su-25 fighters are equipped by default with R-60 air-to-air missiles featuring a guaranteed hit accuracy within about three miles. Eight. There is a video circulating in the Western media showing an alleged transport of a BOK missile launcher to Russia right after the shooting down of the airplane. But the video shows the truck in the street of a city that's been controlled by the Ukrainian army since May 2014 already. Where did the missile launcher really go? Ninth. Where is the missile launcher now? Why are some missiles missing on it? When did this missile launcher fire a missile for the last time? Question number 10. Why did US officials suppress evidences to suggest that the MH17 was shot down by a missile of the Ukrainian army? Exactly at the time the Malaysian jet went down, a US satellite crossed southeast Ukraine. Just as an aside, a satellite able to surveil launching of missiles of various ranges. Coincidence or not, this satellite filmed this incident very precisely. The Americans should publish its pictures for investigation. Ladies and gentlemen, now it remains to be seen whether the Ukrainian government and the US services behind are able to deliver convincing answers to these clear questions. Up to now, the USA only fed selected journalists with Secret Service papers about the shooting down of MH17 and had to admit that they cannot prove a direct involvement of Russia. Why are such important means of proof only given to selected journalists and not to the world public? And why haven't the US responded to Russia's 10 questions up to now? Cloud TV already warned weeks ago that the Ukrainian conflict might suddenly 
intensify through a false flag terror attack. Could it be that this happened with the tragic crash of flight MH17? Thank you for attentively following our counter voice regarding the events in the Ukraine. You can support us by calling attention of your friends to this news channel. Thank you very much.